What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at how to solve one step equations that involve division. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we need to understand when solving a one step equation is that we want to isolate the variable by using the inverse. So first of all, what is the variable? Well, the variable is this little value represented by a letter where the value is unknown. So we need to try and get it on its own. But as we can see with this first one, which reads x divided by 12 equals three, the x is connected to this divide by 12. So if we wanna get this x on its own, we need to get rid of this divide by 12. And the only way to get rid of this divide by 12 is to use the inverse to cancel it out. So let's rewrite the question and it should read x divided by 12 equals three. So we're gonna try and use the inverse of this divide by 12, and the inverse of division is multiplication. So if I have x divided by 12 multiplied by 12 equals three, what I've done is I've added this multiply by 12 onto this side. But in order to keep my equation balanced, I now have to multiply this side by 12 as well. So now on both sides of the equation, I've added this multiply by 12. And what that does is it means that I can now get rid of this divide by 12 because divide by 12 times 12 effectively equals zero. So my next line would read x and then divide by 12 times 12 is zero, so I don't need to put anything there. So x equals three times 12, which is 36. And there we go, x equals 36. But that's not the only method that we can use. We can use the method of looking at the number families. So at the moment, if we look at this second question, it says 11 equals t divided by four. Or in other words, t divided by four equals 11, same thing. So this first one is our first number sentence, but we actually have four number sentences in every number family. Whoops, that should be 11. So the next number sentence would be t divided by 11 equals four. Notice that we're using the exact same numbers and values, but we're just sequencing them in a different order. But now I have two multiplication questions that are also part of this number family. I have four multiplied by 11 will therefore equal t, and also 11 multiplied by four also equals t. So these four questions are all part of the same number family. And what I can just do is I can just look for one where the value of t is on its own here at the end, well, both of these are, and I can just simply solve them. Four times 11 equals t, so four times 11 is 44. So therefore, t equals 44. Let's just check that with the last one. 11 times four also equals 44, which therefore means t equals 44. So I can just use either of these two number sentences, which are the inverse of the question, to help me find that missing value. And there you go, that is two ways to solve a one-step equation which involve division. Let's think about things to remember. In this first example, we want to try and isolate the variable, and we can do that by finding what the variable is connected to and canceling it out by putting the inverse. But whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side of my equation. In the second example, we are looking at number families. So we're rewriting our number sentence into all four number sentences that are involved in the number family, and we're finding the one with the variable on its own. Okay, there we go. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, please think about subscribing. We're making daily videos like this to help you with everything you need to know about maths. But for now, peace out.